Hey y'all, welcome to Intermittent Fasting with Susan. Join me today as I share five tips with you on how to control your hunger and those cravings during your fasting window. So tip number one I have is eat protein. If for some reason during your fasting window you feel like you're hungry all the time, odds are you've not intaken enough protein during your eating window. So kind of look back during your eating window and say, hmm, what kind of foods was I eating and consuming? Um, taking lots of meats, lots of protein, that will help you to stay fuller and more satiated longer. Tip number two. So a lot of times hunger is a mindset. A lot of times um, it's a mental game that we have to do and a mental game we have to play in order to fight off those hunger cravings that we have and to really just push through. So maybe if you've got a picture of maybe at a time when you were smaller or a time that you had lost some weight that you want to kind of keep posted somewhere, maybe keep it on the fridge, or if you don't want to really display it on the fridge, if you want to put it somewhere privately that you can kind of look at it and go back to, to keep you motivated and kind of keep you, your mind set on the right track to help you stay focused on your end goal of weight loss or just being, feeling better about yourself and, and feeling healthier. Um, that's a good thing to do. Tip number three, drink lots of water. So I love ice cold water. So I drink and consume lots of water throughout the day during my fasting window. I drink lots of coffee. Um, I do black coffee. It did take me a while to build up to black coffee. Um, I think it took me like a couple of months actually to slowly wean myself off of the um, artificial sweeteners and the creamers. But you can do it and black coffee is a great way um, to not break your fast. So I usually have three cups of black coffee a day. Sometimes it's four. Depends on, you know, how I'm feeling. But I definitely drink lots and lots of water. Maybe put in the comment section down below if you're a black coffee drinker or if you're someone who still likes to put a lot of sweeteners and a lot of creamers in your coffee, but you just consume that during your eating window. Tip number four is stay busy. Keep yourself busy. Keep your mind focused on something other than eating. So I do work a full-time job. Um, so 40 hours of my week, eight hours of my day are spent working. And so that keeps me really busy and I don't have a lot of time to think about eating. I do work remotely, which I thought was going to be a problem, but it actually has not been a problem. Um, and so then when I get off work, if I feel myself getting hungry, it's typically because I'm bored. And so I really try to stay busy, whether I go outside and play with my dogs, I go for a short walk, maybe I go outside and rake leaves, uh, maybe I take on a project within inside the house, but I definitely try not to sit down and watch TV because I know that that triggers me to want to eat. So I just, you know, tip number four is just to stay busy, stay focused on something else other than eating. Tip number five, so don't bring snacks into your home. And what I mean by that is I know that if I were to bring a box of Little Debbie cakes into my house, I would be eating them. So what I try to do is I just wait till I'm out and about. If I stop by, you know, grocery store or something like that, I may they have a little section when you check out. They got little, like one little piece of candy or something chocolate. I'll maybe get that if it's during my eating window. Um, I do eat Toll House cookies almost every single night. But the thing with that is, is it's, it's a tub. Um, I'm going to do a video on that as well, but it's a, a tub of the cookie dough. And I don't eat raw cookie dough, so I have to actually bake them. So I don't have that as a temptation. So that would be my tip number five, is just to try to refrain from bringing snacks or convenience foods into your home. So I hope that these five tips will help you out in some way on your intermittent fasting journey, and they will help you to kind of push through those hunger cravings that you've had and to be able to extend your fasting window. And that way, whenever you're able to have your eating window, you can eat all those foods that you love and you're craving and be able to just live this lifestyle for the rest of your life and just be happy and healthy.